So today, Santa brought his, one of his little helpers, and her name is Myth, Miss Kathy. And Miss Kathy is going to do a craft with us after the story. And we're so lucky that he came all the way from the North Pole into the Cops and Kids reading room. How lucky are we? And Miss Kathy is going to make a small Santa ornament that looks just like this guy. Look how cute he is. And you can hang him on your tree, you can hang him in the backyard, maybe in the fort, maybe in your bedroom. Who knows? But I hope you enjoy making Santa as much as I did. And I'll see you next week. Bye. Hello, kids. How are you today? I understand that everybody's going to have a lot of fun this summer. You can see Santa's wearing his mask. You need to wear your mask how your parents tell you to and when they tell you to do it. It's to help keep you safe and healthy. We're going to be reading a book today and Santa is going to take his mask off so that you can understand the book. The book we're reading is How to Catch an Elf. I'm going to take my mask off. This is a very good book. It's by Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton. It's a good story about elves and if you don't know a lot about elves, this is where you're going to learn about them. So how to catch an elf. It's Christmas Eve. Hip hip hooray. Yes, Santa's coming round. He's bringing toys to girls and boys in every house in town. Some kids have tried to catch him, but Santa's fast, you see. So they've set their eyes on a smaller prize, and now they're after me. And look who they're after. I'm not my friend upon the shelf who comes each year and sits. No, I've got style and I've got grace. I'm the elf that never quits. Now Santa's ready, time to go. I'm sure your traps are scary. I'll do my best to dodge them all and leave you feeling merry. And look at what do we have out here. We've got milk and cookies for Santa and the elves. And look at we got a trap to try to catch the elf. In I go to Emma's house to make sure all is clear. A tinsel net, oh that's just fun. I won't get caught in here. And see she made a net out of tinsel. Jaden's trap cannot be missed. I think it's double-sided. He's got his spot on my naughty list. You bet that's been decided. Uh-oh, look at what they did. He's all stuck up. Another house is filled with treats. These kids are getting smarter. I can't resist the candy canes. My job is getting harder. And look at who else is after him. Santa slowly lowers me into a dangerous room. If I touch down, he won't just frown. There'll be a bonbon boom. And look at They got all kinds of candy things. And if he touches and he's cutting the wire so it doesn't blow up and get chocolate all over everything. Your Christmas maze is all laid out. My work is no longer cushy. I've safely brought you all your gifts, but hey, you zapped my tushy. Uh-oh, look at that. He's got a little piece of electric and he got him. And now my radar's perking up. The next one's quite a chore. We don't yet know what lies ahead in this family's grocery store. Uh-oh, I wonder what they're going to do in the grocery store. We run inside and get caught up in an avalanche of food. We've seen all kinds of traps before, but none to this magnitude. Oh, look at all the food coming down on Santa and the elf. 
The dinner cannon burps and spits and shoots out ham and gravy, and then it follows with dessert. Please, Santa, will you save me? Uh oh, look at how they do the cannon and all the food coming out. And hit, look at Santa. They did some nice jobs on the pictures in here. We tumble down the waterfall above the eggnog river, but Santa and I are an awesome team. Together we deliver. And they're also delivering pizza. Look at that. And now it's time for us to leave. Our night is nearly done. You've tried your best this Christmas Eve. So Merry Christmas, everyone. So that was a very good story. It's about elves and what happens and how to try to catch an elf. And this has been a lot of fun. If you see, Santa isn't in his normal clothes. This is my summer clothes. Mrs. Claus told me to leave today, and I know why. I can't have cookies except on Christmas Eve, and whenever she makes cookies for the elves, I can't be around because she doesn't like me taking cookies and sampling them. I tell her I'm quality control and make sure that the cookies are good enough to eat, but she shoes me away. So what I do is I come down and I see my friend Cookie Monster, and we know what Cookie Monster says. He calls me up and he says, Santa, me got cookies, cookie cookies for Santa. And I come down and Cookie Monster always has good cookies for me. And I hope you enjoyed the story, and we'll see you a little later. Bye. Hello there. It is Christmas in July. My name is Kathy Chartier, and I'm going to be making a Santa craft. So here it's a very simple little Santa craft made with toilet paper rolls. We have cotton balls. We have different colored papers for the face, for the hat. We have markers, black for the eyes, red for the mouth. And then you make your little cone-shaped hat. You put it on and voila, you have Santa as an ornament. So let's get started. So first of all, you have all of your materials over here. So you gather all your materials. That's your step one. So step two, you want to take your paper for your face. And here again, whatever color for your face you'd like, you have your face. And now you have your pattern. It's roughly seven inches wide by three and seven inch is high. So what you do is you cut your scissor, or you cut your paper with your scissor, and you roll it around your toilet paper roll, and you take your scotch tape, or you take stapler, or you take glue, but you close it together, and you have your piece. So that would complete your step three, your attachment. So then what you do is you need to cut and trace paper for a hat. I like red for a sand hat. So what you do is you take your paper, you make a semicircle, roughly five and a half inches wide by two and three quarter inches long. So what you do is you take your paper, you do your trace, and then you cut out your sample. So then what you do is you need to Take your paper and you need to twirl it into a cone shape. So when you twirl it into a cone shape like this, here's my sample, you, you need to tape it closed together. And if you want to put a band of just white paper, you can cut this out and then you would attach that also onto here. This can get, get, it can get kind of tricky, and if you put your little cotton balls, you really don't need this particular step. So once you have the hat done, then you have to put the hat, you cut, okay, so attach the trim onto the hat. So here again, you take your trim, you have your cotton ball, cotton ball and you want to pull it apart just a little bit, and then you want to glue this on. 
So here again, any kind of glue is good. Uh, Elmer's glue is good, glue stick is good, but you put your glue around the hat. And then you also want to take a hole punch, and you want to hole punch here. And you take your string, roughly about eight inches, because you have to tie a knot to it. So you have your string, and you put it through your holes, and you make your little knot up top. And then you have your string that you'll put. Now this next part is actually probably part of the most difficult. You need to take the hat and attach it onto the toilet paper roll. So what I found actually works best is if you take about an inch and a quarter paper or tape, you take it, you fold it down, and then you just put this toilet paper roll inside. See, it's not so easy. So you do this, and you put it so that you attach it on the inside. And if you put three spots, it balances out a little bit better. So you do this. So you have your little hat. So once you have your hat, this is Santa's so far. But now you have to put eyes. So you have your black marker for his eyes made of coal. So you have this. And you make a big eye here, make another big eye over here. I don't know if you want to put little nose here, you can put little nose here. And then possibly red marker for your face. So here, just make a smiley face. And then you take your cotton balls and you need to attach the cotton balls into his whiskers. A little behind. So here, you take your cotton balls and you stretch it out and you just attach the cotton balls onto his face for his whiskers and you have Santa. So I hope you have fun making Santa in July. Didn't you love Santa? Well, Santa loves spending time with you. Because of this, he will be back to read another story. Be sure to watch for him later in the summer.